Hi everybody, welcome back to another MJ vlog with commentary. I hope you're learning how to make bigger hands watching these vlogs. If you have any questions, just shoot them down in the comments below. You can see that I'm clearing out any winds or dragons that I have. If your hand does not contain any winds or dragons, it's an extra point. If you don't have any winds, dragons, or flowers, it's an extra five points. I pick up a green dragon here, and then I contemplate whether I should keep it because if I pong that card, it's worth two points. I pung the green dragon here, then I throw out the five of numbers, and now I'm calling the nine of balls or the six of balls for the win. Out comes my nine of balls. Here are my points. One point for having no flower, two points for punging the dragon, and three points for the seven, eight, nine sisters for balls and sticks for a total of six points. When I'm deciding what card to throw out of my hand, I always look to the winds first to see if I can throw out a wind that's not either the round wind or my position wind. Then next, I look to see if I have any dead end cards, like ones or nines, that I don't need for a run to throw out that next. And then thirdly, I'll throw out any dragons. I usually hold on to the dragons because if you can pong a dragon, it's worth two points automatically.
the person feeding me to my left has given me a one of numbers. I'll take that for a run and then throw out the seven of balls. I'm now calling a duk duk card or a middle card, four of numbers for the win. I managed to pick up the four of numbers myself. Here are my points. I have two flowers for two points, one point for having no wins and dragons, one point for self win, two points for dok dok, and three points for having sister suits three, four, five across the balls and numbers for a total of nine points. When I have so many honor tiles in my hand, I usually keep them all. Chances are I might be able to do a semi-pure hand with it. However, I just picked up the five of sticks, which is a matching pair. So I opted not to go semi-pure and possibly go all pung instead, or liku liku, which is all the pairs, plus the last set being a three of a kind. When you play this liku liku hand, you can't pong the first set and then just have the rest of the pair sitting in your hand. It has to be a totally concealed hand. You basically have to compile all your pairs and your three of a kind within your hand and then call. I pick up a four of numbers here, and it looks like my hand is going toward the liku liku hand. I need to get a couple of more pairs and then be calling the last set, which is a three of a kind. And it's great when you call the last set because the three of a kind could be any one of those cards. As my hand stands now, I can either pick up the north or the two of sticks, then I'll have all my pairs. Then any one of those pairs can be matched up for my three of a kind. This is the best case scenario because you have so many options. And I pick up the north, which means I throw out the two of sticks, and then any one of those cards can be matched up for my win. The person directly across from me has thrown out the three of sticks. Here are my points. I have one point for having a flower. I have one point for the dealer throwing out the card to me. And I have 40 points for Liku Liku. Now you don't get those three points for having a hidden hand because Liku Liku inherently has to be a hidden hand. So you don't get those points for it. I have a total of 42 points.
When I was compiling my hand here, I noticed I didn't have any end cards, no ones or nines. So that means I'm going to throw out any of the winds or dragons that I get because those are considered end cards in a hand. If you don't have any ones or nines, it's an extra five points. Alternatively, there's another hand where you have all ones and nines, just as long as you have a run that contains a one or a nine, or if you pong the ones and nines, it's worth 10 points. I fumble the seven of balls here, but I pick it up to make my run of six, seven, eight, which means that I am calling either the seven of numbers or the two of sticks for the win. And I self win with the two of sticks. Here are my points. I have one point for having a flower. I have one point for self win. I have one point for calling off of two pairs. I have five points for having no ones or nines. Normally I would get one point for having no wins or dragons, but because I have the five points for having no ones or nines, you don't get that extra point for no wins and dragons because you can't have wins or dragons to get those five points for a total of eight points. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. See you in the next one.